Hi, I'm Mason. And I'm Jake. Standing up for the unprotected land being harmed, many people fought the majority in a series of events creating the National Park Service. Last year, in 2016, the National Park Service had its 100th anniversary of operating. The National Park Service was created because lands owned by the government were not managed as one. The national parks were managed by the Department of the Interior, monuments managed by the War Department, and the National Forest administered by the Forest Service. The NPS was created as a federal bureau in the Department of the Interior to promote and regulate the use of federal areas. It is responsible for protecting the existing and future national parks, monuments, and reserves. The National Park Service was created by the Organic Act. On t August 25, 1916, President Woodrow Wilson signed it establishing the National Park Service. One major event causing the NPS's creation was the Yellowstone Act of 1916. In the beginning, during the westward movement in America, an 1849 gold rush, what is today Yellowstone was starting to take damage from economic growth in the west. Yellowstone at the time was only used by fur trappers and Indians, but westward movement caused people to adventure into the area on expeditions. A man named John Coulter had adventured into the land. When he returned and described the land to the people, no one believed him and they called the land Coulter's Hell. In 1871, Ferdinand Hayden led a government expedition to Yellowstone with William Jackson, a photographer, and a landscape artist, Thomas Moran. In early 1872, Congress began to set aside 1,221,773 acres of public land in what is now Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, making it America's first national park. On March 1, 1872, President Grant signed the Yellowstone Act of 1872. It was set to be a public pleasure ground and was not to be harmed or of any of its resources taken. John Ice, a historian, said so dramatic a departure from the general public land policy of Congress, it seems almost a miracle. The act will set a precedent and popularize the idea of preserving land for the use of public parks, sparking a movement across America. Over the next 44 years, 15 national parks will be created by mentionable names such as Ferdinand Hayden, John Muir, Nathaniel Langford, George Grinnell, and many others. The establishment of over 4,750,000 acres of land in only a short amount of time showed that America's view on nature had changed. A mark in the historical series of events was the distinction between a national park and a national forest. This came from the Forest Reserve Act of 1891, after some forests had been established as national parks. However, the Yellowstone Act wasn't the only thing that inspired the creation of the National Park Service. When the system of national parks was growing, the parks had no definite organization they were ran by. The parks were administered by the Secretary of the Interior, although soldiers patrolling the parks were advised by the Secretary of War. The parks in the West were treated like forts because of the Wild West. Visitors would be robbed at the entrance and poachers worked inside the parks. The next step towards the National Park Service's creation was the protection of the Casa Grande ruin in 1889. Due to an interest in southwestern Indian antiquities, pot hunters and vandals looted and wrecked Anasazi and many other sites, destroying the architecture and more. The protection of the Casa Grande ruin was the first of protecting a national monument. Congress also called for the protection and repair of the site as a reaction to the vandals destroying it. Showing that Congress and the government also cared for the environment and historical background of this country. Then, following was a new movement to protect battlegrounds. All those from cemeteries had been created during the Civil War. No war grounds got true protection, mainly because the South did not want to reserve and celebrate its defeat. In the 1880s, trying to restore the nation's bonds and pay tribute to those who fought, many associations began protecting battlefields as monuments. At the command of one of these associations, Congress set aside land in 1890 for the Chickamauga and Chattanooga battlefields. 
another effort that caused the Organic Act was the Antiquities Act of 1906. This was a part of the early span of preservation movements climax with this document. The Antiquities Act was an outgrowth of continued commotion for securing of archaeological sites. Its main effect was in Section 2 of the document. This gave power to the President to unilaterally declare national monuments on federal land to protect items of historical or scientific importance. There are now more than 50 national monuments that have been created by this legislature. This act was the last crucial effect in creating the National Park Service. The Organic Act in 1916 was a document that established the National Park Service as a government association. The Yellowstone Act was the first federal land for public use as a national park, starting a movement of protecting the environment that will eventually create the National Park Service. The establishment of the National Park Service was a long movement of standing up against those who do not care for the environment and historical places. Thanks to the people who stood up against the vandals, pot hunters, poachers, thieves, and more, we have a National Park Service that protects the natural beauty and historical background of our country.